Okay, here we have uh, a worded problem. It has been nice enough to give, give us a diagram. Uh, a sailboat travels 50 kilometers due west, then changes course 18 degrees northward. You need to be careful here in the work. It doesn't, it's not a diagram, so it's less confusing. But when it's talking about changing course and, and angles, I, I always automatically think bearings. But if you see the diagram, it just means it's shifted 18 degrees towards north, and it's, it's happened at this point here. So it was traveling along here like this, and then it's turned through 18 degrees. After traveling 75 kilometers in that direction, you can see where it ended up, the first drawing of a sailboat. How far is the sailboat from its point of departure? Give your answer to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. And it even told us the actual unknown that we're looking for. So we've really got a lot more information than you are entitled to. Okay, so looking at this, we need to get an angle in the triangle. That 18 at the moment is outside of the triangle, but it can be brought inside of the triangle very, very easy. So if we just draw this angle here, uh, that is going to be 180 minus 18. Okay, so maybe take away 20, add 2, it must be 162. So now you've got 162 degrees in the triangle, and you've got side angle side. So two sides, trapped angle between them, and you need the other side. So that's classic cosine rule. So you might not need to label it, or you might want to, but basically, whatever you want, think about that as being A. Think about the angle, big A, being opposite little a, and B and C just being the other two sides. And the cosine rule, again, it's not in your formula book, in this form, in your formula book, C is the subject. But personally, I remember it like this, A squared equals B squared plus C squared, 2bc cos big A. So that means a squared is d squared. So d squared equals 75 squared b squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 75 times 50 times cos of the angle between them, which is the angle in the triangle is the 162. Okay, go to your calculator. <clears throat> 75 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 75 times 50 times cosine 162. So that gives you an answer for a squared, which is quite a very large number, 15257. Five two five seven point uh, nine two three eight seven. So that is d squared, and d is going to be the square root of that. So d is going to be the square root of this one five two five seven point nine. Not, not, not. So on your calculator, it's just square root. ALS square root ALS equals and that is 123.5 and it tells us to give this to the nearest tenth of a kilometer so to one decimal place so it is 123.5 T equals 123.5 kilometers. Remember, you should always, for something like this, just have a little glance at the diagram. Does it look sensible? Wait, that's 50 and that's 75. The way it's drawn, this is clearly going to be longer than both of those, so I think it looks like a reasonable answer.